here in three hours, but we'll see. So here we are at Wild Weather Woods, which is, I think, I guess the penultimate course of the game. All right, so I've got to verify to these, uh, um, these portmen here that, uh, um, these portman toads that I have a silver badge, which qualifies me to play at Wild Weather. So I wonder if, uh, it perpetually rains here or how it works. Oh. Okay, you need to prove your skills before being granted admission to various amenities. Okay, so that- I don't know if that means I can't enter the clubhouse or if I just can't go to certain things of sorts. So, I guess it's telling me I should go in here, whichever side I go. Oh, drafting, so that's an interesting little thing. If you're running behind someone else, you can get like a speed boost or something. Oh, good question. Some nearby golf courses affected by unusual weather. So there was like that storm that was at Ridge, at Ridge Rock, and then there was the... Uh, um, that big rock that blocked the, uh, the oasis at, uh, um, the desert course. I can't, trying to remember what the heck it's called. Hmm. Okay, so I guess can't do the pro shop until I, until I play around, until I play a few holes. Okay. Wow, this definitely is a, a nice club here. They got like a lounge, they got the pro shop, they got all that sort of stuff, and... Oh, and they got like locker rooms and all that. Whenever Bowser visits his mountain getaway, all the snow melts. One day it's a snowy peak, then boom, volcano. Oh, bloody hell. Why didn't my... why didn't my thing work? Hmm. Or let me turn that... let me turn the... the virtual deck on and off again. Off and on again. Yeah, so... that... that's just as easy... that's just easy as me going into the uh, dashboard and uh, refunding the points. So... Yeah, that's... that's not a difficult fix. So, um, I can actually just do this right from OBS. So, reward queue. Yeah, so apparently the locals here are talking about how the weather is unusual, and that apparently there's still snow on the mountain even though Bowser is there. Not to alarm you, but if you see two strange men with strange mustaches who seem to be, have recently been on fire stumble out of the woods, that is oddly specific. That is very oddly specific. Well, that seems to be par for the course around here these days. That is funny. So that, that of course, can be none other than Wario and Waluigi. Oh, you got me. Thank you, King Camper. Yeah, that's- thank you. That- that helps me a lot. That helps me a lot. I was just getting to the queue, but it was taking a while to load for some reason. Two new guys sneaking around the course. Don't you think they could be after our legendary hero sword? <laughs> Our Magnificence Hero of the Legendary Hero and His Sword. Okay. So apparently- so apparently Wario and Waluigi are doing weird shit here at, at Wild Weather Woods. Okay. So let's get in a few practice holes here. So that then I can, uh, so that then I can, um, get rewarded for all the stuff. Yes. Unfortunately, I cannot be Wario here and yet, but maybe I- maybe we will confront him. 
if these two strange figures with strange mustaches are really them two. Okay. Some of the hazards. When it rains as much as it does, any puddle becomes a water hazard. So there's a lot of water. Okay. Excellent, all right. And this being supposedly the penultimate course, um, there's got to be some challenge. Honestly, I expected that mountain course with the whirlwinds and all, the ridge rock and all that, I expected that to be the fifth course, not this one, but... Uh, oh, and we got little forest critters. Kind of like the ones that you see in, uh... I'm trying to remember what game. Is that Mario Odyssey stuff? Oh shoot, I forgot. I, uh... I, uh, I changed the- I changed all the settings to metric, so... But the wind is 6 meters per second, so that's 13 miles an hour. Okay. So we got that, and we got slope stuff. Yeah, as you can see, that rain is moving quite a bit. Burn Alex, thank you for the follow. Oh bloody hell! I forgot. I also inverted the. Uh, I also inverted the the curves. So now, so now left is. Uh, so now left is fade and, and right is draw. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just we'll just get a good chip here for. We'll just get a good chip in for par. These little critters, I think, are from uh, Odyssey in that one forest, like the lost ruins or whatever. Not the lost ruins, but like the lost the lost forest place thingy. I gotta remember I don't need to run here. I'm also gonna assume that because it's raining I have to play accordingly. You know, hit putts harder and other stuff like that. Oh, and I got my... I, I gotta remember I, I can use special shots. Ready? So maybe I'll use that for the third hole. So let's see here. Big Tailwind. Good stuff. Okay, so 15 feet from the hole for all of you imperialists. Alright, good, good. So 50%, extra 50% is sufficient. Good, good. I'm wondering maybe if four thirds is, is sufficient, but I'll do an extra 50% just in case. Okay, what do we got? 197 meters, okay, that's right. So, multiply by 1.1 about for my distance. So, I think my distance max was about 215 or 216 yards. I can't remember which. But, some tells me maybe going for the power shot is not a great idea here. Oh, I didn't even notice all these individual rings here are for my, for each of my clubs. That is nifty. That is handy. That is very handy. Yeah, that is very that is very handy. I like these concentric rings. Yeah, that's uh that's not looking uh, very nice. Although mm, Might as well try though. Might as well try. Oh, it's just like a punch, Saini, and... Ah! Heck. Okay, so that's different. Alright. Alright. I thought maybe it was literally an extra 10%. I didn't realize that the ball just, like, basically plays out like a straight punch. That base that kind of ignores... Ignores lion weather and stuff like that. Which that's interesting in and of itself, to be honest. But I can still get this. I can still get par here. Whoa, that's blowing a lot. Okay. All right. Let's see. These little critters.
a little firm. Easy does it, okay. Alright, even's good enough. This is, that's just the warm-up. So now I know that trying to do dumb stuff like that with uh, the uh, special shot is probably not going to work out. Yeah, let's flip that on. Let's get a little more ambience in here. Okay. So how do I want to do things? Ah, oh, everyone playing Super Rush. Okay. I think most of these stats are pretty good. So we'll pump back into power again, because I think I did invest a fair bit into other stats recently. So... Oh, you can actually get struck by lightning? Well, that's pretty gruesome. That's pretty gruesome. Okay. So I guess maybe now I can take a look at the pro shop. Now that I've beaten my qualifying qualifier thing. Okay. Cheap Cheap Driver. Hit shots that are unaffected by rain. Well, that's fascinating. Lightning 6. Prevents being shot by lightning. Hmm. That's a weird gimmick. Increases con... Okay, Pitching Wedge increases control out of waste areas. That seems pretty specific. Reduces lightning damage and effects. Reduces speed loss and deep. Hmm. I do have plenty of coins, but... Red Shell 3 Wood hits crisp, low trajectory shots out of waste areas. Hmm. Honestly... Yeah, why not? That might come in handy. Let's see. Struck by lightning. Prevents being shot by lightning. Reduces lightning damage and effects. Yeah, maybe I'll swap out to that just for just for this course and go from there, because I got plenty of coins. So. All the other ones seem a little too specific. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think I'm most of the way through the story here, and with any luck, I might I might finish it in the next three hours, but we shall see. Let's see. Lightning attire, because I really don't want to get struck by lightning. That would be no bueno. I still got a standard three wood. Hmm. I wonder I wonder if this three wood would be a good idea, because usually when I'm using a three wood, I don't need to hit high, so. That might be decent. I do have nine clubs, which does encumber me slightly, but... I mean, as I've said before, I like having a little bit of variety in my mid-range for... Just for par threes and par fours especially. Because after your drive, generally you're going to have some hundred odd yards left, and you'll want a club that, you know, can cover that. Unless you are good at playing punches, which... If I get a little better at the game, I will perhaps challenge myself, you know, playing through, like, with, say, for instance, driver putter only. You know, that would be, that would be only two clubs, and I would be, like, you know, Speedy Gonzalez. So, that'd be kind of cool. That would be, that would be kind of a cool way to challenge yourself. And, and at the same time, you know, there's, there's that mechanic of being rewarded for doing so. There is a little, there is that little bit of risk reward for opting to, say, play driver and putter only. Okay, so speed golf on the front nine. A golfer on our staff will accompany you due to ongoing concerns about the thunderstorms. Well, they're brazen here, you know? They're still playing golf with, in all these lightning storms. Which, speaking of lightning storms, I, um, I uh, cut out of my previous broadcast a little early, um, because there were some pretty fierce storms that were rolling in, but um, from the looks of things, those seem to have uh, moved on, so... Now I'm good. I'm good to continue now. <clears throat> I 
Well, that was th that same thing was true for uh, um, Game Boy Color and for uh, and for um, Mario Golf Advance Tour as well. That you would have stats that would um, slightly atrophy. You would you would slightly atrophy um, if you didn't invest in them. But usually. You only usually though that that enti that kind of entices you. You you're not obligated to uh, invest in whatever stats if you don't feel the need to do so. Though I do recommend. Um, you're saying you're not as far in this. I recommend investing some in speed and spin so that maybe then that allows you to acquire new skills that might come in handy. Like there's there's you know special there's like these special double curve shot sort of things that you can do if your spin stat is high enough. And I don't know if it's by your level or by the amount of upgrades you do, but there's a new special dash that you can get that is a lot better than the one you start with. So, but I've been mostly investing in power and it has been very useful. Because now I'm strong enough to where if I use my special shot, then I have a chance to Uger on, on par fives now. Oh, so, so I'm playing with Toad here, too. All right, want to take a look at this. I've also upgraded a little bit into speed and stamina so that then I can get I can get two uh, dashes off. Oh, I didn't realize that there was this uh, isthmus, this bottleneck here. That was a little bit risky if I dare say so. And once again, I span it the wrong way because I got used to the normal things when before I always, you know, the curves are always inverted. So... Now I I, fl I I flip those around again and God damn it, Toad, you are a maniac. You are a speed demon. Oh wait, I was ahead of him. Okay. Yeah, he took he took five shots. So the way that the uh, speed golf system works is that it takes the time that you take um, dashing along the course, and then um, yeah. The number of strokes you take is multiplied by 30 seconds, and that's added on, and that's what gets you the uh, time score for for the, for each hole that you play. So it is also in your best interest to play as few strokes as possible. That will save a lot more time in the long run. Ready? Big big tailwind. Okay. All right, Toad. What sort of crazy ass uh, power shot you? Uh oh. What does the Mega Mushroom do? Nice. Huh? All right. Well, I'm tw I'm 25 feet out, so I'm not terribly concerned. All right. I guess I can start dashing now. 30. I gotta smack this hard. Hopefully, it's hard enough. Cause uphill and rain. Wow, okay. So yeah, just to be safe, you do want to add about 50% on putts in rain. I'm going to assume that this course, it, it is perpetually raining. Which, to, which in my eyes, does not seem to impact loft as to the extent that it does in Total Tour. More, I think it's just a matter of you, you get a small reduction in both carry and roll. That's kind of more of what happens with rain, which physically makes sense. Because rain essentially retards the spin that is imparted on the ball. Ready? So I've learned last time that it is a stupid to try to play a power shot across the water at the power level that I that I have. So I'm gonna not do that. Oh, that's right. I got the uh, crispy low three wood, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I also recently learned that um, the coins, in addition to, you know, being coins, they also will refill your special shot gauge, which is up there below stuff and stuff, and uh-oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some punching. 
which I have just the club for that, thankfully. It looks like I made it over. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Nice song. Green and red. Ayla Mao dudes. And it was such a struggle before because my base my base power was only 150 uh, 160 yards. It was going downhill, so I wanted to make sure I didn't hit too hard. But of course, I also have to remember that um, these green slope like Mario Golf they slope like Toadstool Tours tournament greens. They they slope a lot. So that was a, that was a clutch uh, punch shot. Get that nice green and red, but I'm, it's unfortunate I couldn't sink the putt. I'm still kicking Toad's ass though. So all right, that's three out. That's three out of nine. All right, big par five. I just want to take a look. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. So maybe now's a good time for the power shot for the the special shot. That'll give me at least an extra 10%, so... Did I just jump over that hard? Oh, son of a biscuit. That's the only thing I don't like about this new dash. Otherwise, it is faster and longer in every other respect. Oops, wrong way again. Please don't be OB or something. I did hit it higher. That's that's one thing I wanted to do. Okay, I'm only 15 yards out. That's not bad. Easy green and reg. Not bad. Oh, I'm over there. Okay, these annoying little things. I thought Toad sunk it and beat me. Poor soul. Well, that was close. Yeah, it was literally just the one stroke that separated us there. So obviously Toad's doing something right. Big crosswind. Very. That's like 16 miles an hour equivalently, so... want to take this seriously. Alright, sufficient loft. Good. Yeah, being able to do two of these dashes in a row is nice with the uh, stamina investment. However, this this idling is a little bit problematic sometimes. Could be problematic. So Toad must have did something that disrupted me, because the green glue and it, it glowed and did some weird shit that I don't understand, so... a little whippersnapper. Hit it hard, because we're going uphill in rain. Excellent. Nice car. Hopefully there's... okay. So the next par 5 is uh, hole 9, so by then, I think my... Uh, I think my shop meter should be filled up for another one Ready? for that, so. I think I gotta go all the way out and around here. It's interesting that each of these holes has like, you know, paths per se. Like it's not just, you know, arbitrarily you're shooting like through islands or you know, stuff like that. Toad, where the hell did, where the hell did that kind of shot come from? I gotta smack this smack this hard, and even then I probably didn't smack it hard enough. Yes, I did! Okay, so I, I think four thirds is good enough. That was delicious. And I already have my special shot ready, but Don't wanna use it yet. Maybe save it for the save it for par five where I could try to get Uger.
Oh, oh that's right. This is the uh, the low three wood that I've got. I sometimes forget the uh, little things that I equip, but it says I'm on fairway, so looks like I'm good to go. I'll recharge some of my stamina once I get to my ball, so I'm not too concerned about that. All right, eight feet away. Delicious. Eight feet away. Um, yeah, I've already tried. Apparently, your character can't swim. At least, not yet. Nice bird. Yeah, there seems to be a pretty good uh, distance tolerance for the cup, but I think part of that might just be the fact that the uh, the pin stays it the the pin stays in, and so that absorbs a lot of the extra shock. So you could probably overhit some of these by like 10 feet if your line is good. So don't be afraid to hit putts firm, especially um, in order to circumvent um, the strong breaks that are present. So I slaughtered Toad on that hole. All right. Ready? Uh, I'm not enough of a man to, to go for that. Apparently Toad is though. I'm gonna get out of the I'm gonna get out of the heckin' way of whatever whatever he's trying to do there. Why would you do that? Oh, maybe there's maybe there's like an advantage to be had for playing to drive short and then um playing a longer second one. I never thought about that. Oh, I couldn't uh I had too much uh too much weight to my uh, to my dash to try to knock toad into the water some trollish behavior like that that would have been pretty funny and did my dash just like stop no that's per well that's because I like fell so that's fair that's fair I guess oh, I way uphill okay slow down there buddy Okay. Nice car. So uh, I beat Toad in both respects. Okay. One more. This is what I'm saving the uh, special shot for. 503. That is long. So it's not looking good that I'll get there in two shots anyway. In three shots anyway. Unless. Please don't hit the tree. I just realized that I was aiming at one. Yeah, I literally aimed at a tree. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. That was actually decent considering it's... It's a three wood out of... Oh, great. Okay, how do I... Uh-oh. I do have to literally go back around. So, it was not necessarily a good thing to be in that position. There really wasn't a, uh... A route to connect back. So, Toad's gonna beat me on this hole, most likely. Yeah, holy shit, where the hell is he? Well, from the looks of it, I did have a good recovery, but it just took me too long to run around and do all that crap. Yeah, so Toad's already on the green. Gotta go fast. Nice huh? Don't run past your ball, you idiot. <sighs> Urgh. Okay. Well, I, I still slaughtered him overall, so that's something. Nice. Okay, give me the experience.
Yes, okay. That is nice. Hard to figure out what I want to do, exactly. I think as long as I keep my ball on the fairway for the most part, I'm not horribly worried about control. Um, speed is always going to be um, a thing to worry about since I'm carrying extra clubs. So how about we do, yeah, how about we do one speed, one spin, and one power? Yeah, lock in the snap changes. Okay. Are there any unlockables? So, based on what I know, there are so-called star for versions and superstar versions of every character. And those are unlocked by using your characters to collect course points and you use those course points. Um, there's like individual, um, there's like individual profiles for every character and there's individual stats for everybody. And if you get enough points, then you can get their star or superstar form. And then, I guess, you know, just the courses, because you don't have all the courses from the offset. But to my, it's my understanding that at least the characters themselves, you have all 16, 17 characters available right from the beginning. So that's nice. It's just, you know, not their star forms, so... And of course, we, we know that there will be DLC. Free, di free DLC, surprisingly. Learn to hit lob shots. Hmm. You see, I've been trying this whole time to talk to that Mr. Lob dude back at uh, Bonnie Hills, and he won't talk to me, so maybe either he'll be here or I'll be able to actually talk to him. Maybe I need a special club or something. Alright, let's see what these bros have to say. Alright, rain putting. I wish I would have had these lessons before, but... Now that I know... I think I have a general idea of the algorithm here. Alright, so... I'm just looking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so... So this grid is... This grid is 15 by 15. So we got ourselves a uh, 10 meter putt, which I guess is this game's equivalent of 30 feet or whatever, which... I mean, isn't quite exact, but it, it, it makes enough sense. So, you can assume one of these squares is 2 feet, essentially. So, I'm gonna do some mathematics here, and I'm gonna see what our rain threshold is, because this is a great environment, you know, the, the green here is perfectly flat. So, I'm trying to figure out, um, the exact distance that we got. Okay, so four and a half meters, aka 15 feet. So... Alright. So, I'm gonna experiment here, and see if seven is, and see if seven is enough. Alright, wow, okay, so... So, the rain threshold is definitely less than 50%. So, it's definitely, the rain ratio is less than 1.5. Now let's try something a little smaller. Okay. So, I think I aimed it at, at or a little under 6, and I got 4.4, so... I'm inclined to say that the rain rate, the minimum rain ratio here in this game is either about five fourths or four thirds. Let's go a little stronger. Science is happening here. Okay. I'm also trying to count up the meter here. So we got how many notches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm a dumbass. Just count the number of dark green squares and multiply by two so so two four six eight ten do 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 twenty do 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 okay so 
So, so the swing meter here is split into 60 squares. And so when you're putting on your short meter, each of the, each of those little squares is half a foot. So, but is, here I just have it in uh, in metric units. Oh, we got a little bit of slope and uphill. Okay, so my my numbers are going to be a little different on this one. But if I do something like this, I think I should be okay. Oh yeah, up, okay, we're going uphill, so that, that makes a, quite a difference, actually. These elevation changes are, are, are more significant in this game than in previous ones. And that includes side slope, too. So I think to be safe, I would settle on a four thirds um, ra rain ratio. But you can, uh, but yeah, four, four thirds, yeah, three halves would be even safer, especially for shorter putts. But three halves on longer putts, you might end up going over. Yeah, these do break a decent bit. But overall the overall my my methodology of reading putts in this is very similar to Toadstool nice. Tour. Yeah, it is it is um comparable to tournament greens. Which is good. I think uh, I think Toadstool Tour like like the normal greens anyway are a little too subtle. And you can almost say the same thing about Mario Golf 1064, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, let's see what these other bros have to say. Bald won't... doesn't... Uh, there's not as much run. Okay. Yeah, so the ball runs less on wet grass, which... Bloody hell, that makes sense too. Whereas Toadstool Tour, that's not always intuitive. Sometimes the rain actually makes the ball skid more, especially if you're playing punch shots. But, you know, physics, right? Okay, I might have lucked out there. That ball could have very well rolled past the flag, but I'm just going to keep doing that. Wow, okay, so it didn't reduce roll by that much, run by that much, because... I think I still get two yards of run with uh, super back on an approach. So a little bit of right words. This is slightly elevated, so maybe I should have hit that a little harder. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, this this, uh, this swing meter does not consider elevation, so... Yeah, shots run in this- shots run more in this game than previous ones do, so I will f often find myself adding backspin to a lot of my shots to the greens. Okay. Now we got a slightly awkward sort of combination of circumstances. Well, that burns. Uh, pin shots. Yeah, I felt like that was too strongly struck, so let's try to prevent that. Okay, one more. Please don't be a pin shot again. Okay, that I can tolerate. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, um... Yeah, definitely it's new physics. I can't remember. I remember seeing an article that there was some some certain engine that they used. There's, there is, a, like, a specific engine that they used for the game. I can't remember what, but... 
I don't know, it must have been noteworthy enough to discuss, I guess. I feel like my power level is actually pretty decent right now, especially with uh, the, uh, yeah. um, especially with the special shots. Hey, hey. Yeah, that was a pretty close call. Hey, hey. Lob shots. Yo, yeah. See, this is, this is what I've been looking for, like, the whole time here. Get set up for the lob shot, you press... Okay, then make sure you have a lob web selected and shoot your shot. The wide stance allows for the club to strike the ball with an open face sending it in the air. So, basically, this is, to my knowledge, the first time that Mario Golf teaches you the flop shot. That is cool. That is cool. Alright, so let me just, uh... Uh, toggle here. Okay... Oh, there, okay, there's the lob shot, all right. Keep in mind, the higher your shot flies, the less it'll roll, and the more wind will affect it, okay. Oh, so there's, there's those three targets here, and of course, we got trees right in front of us, so... Yeah, with the lob wedge, you can easily hit the ball higher than it than it carries, which is kind of, is kind of incredible if, you know, if you think about it. You know, 60 degree angle face. So... Okay, 50. I'm just trying to gauge distance here. Because it's not really telling me, but... Maybe I hit it a little too hard, but hopefully it'll stop quick. It did stop quick, but I just... I just overshot that. Okay. So yeah, we got like 32-ish meters to this thingy of sorts. Okay. Alright. All right, yeah, we're getting in some uh, we're getting in some nice flop shots. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up. Okay, there's two more of these. There's two more. This one logically should be a little further out. Just a little bit of mental math here, and that is that is good. That is clean. This might have to become a club in my bag. It would have been incredibly useful in uh, Ridge Rock. I can tell you that for sure. In fact, come to think of it, we haven't we haven't even been able to play a full tournament round there. We just had to do that whole weird cross country thing, though. So. Which I gotta I gotta admit was was a pretty cool was a pretty cool idea. Good. Excellent, okay. Nice. So there's old lubber practice. That's good. S more spin already? Alright, I'll do power first and then I'll come back for some spin. 